guys, Kavya here. Welcome back to my channel, Kavya Edits. As you can tell by the title, today I am back with a book haul. Um, basically, I've been buying a lot more books than I've been reading. It is a problem. I accept that. Am I going to do anything to solve that? Probably not. What can I do? Anyway, but there's a lot of books I've gathered so i'm going to be showing you some of them not all of them because that'll be too much so i'm going to be showing you about 10 books um today that i've bought over the course of the few months that i haven't read yet so yeah because there's a lot of books i bought that i've already read so i'm not going to include this because i already have videos on them in my previous videos i already made videos on them previously that's the word Anyways, without further ado, without stretching this intro longer than it needs to be, let's get right into the haul pop. Alright, so the first five books I bought are all Colleen Hoover books. Um, I read November 9, which was my first ever Colleen Hoover book I ever read. And after that, I've been obsessed with Colleen Hoover. I've, but I've not read anything other than November 9, but I wanted to get her books. Obviously, it's not all of them, but it's... The ones that I've heard the most about, so like the most popular ones you can say. And I've bought them. First of all, the first book we have is All Your, per all Your Perfects. Um, also, I would like to point out, I know nothing about any of these books. So I can't tell you anything. I can only tell you who's the author and that's about it because I know nothing. I know this is Colleen Hoover. Oil Perfects, I think we've all heard about this book. Um, is, the only thing I know about this is Second Chance, Marriage and Trouble, and it goes from past to future. That's all I know about Oil Perfects by Colin Hoover, but I'm really excited to get into this because I've heard a lot about this book, so I want to know what the hype is about me if I like it. The next book you've definitely heard about, it's everywhere, it is also another Colin Hoover book, and it's called It Ends With Us. Uh, I do have the old cover because I bought this before the new cover came out. I do want the new cover, but I'm like, same time, I don't want to spend extra money somewhere. Like, you know, this cover isn't that bad. I do prefer the new cover I saw, but this is also, it's really pretty. So yeah, it ends with us. Um, uh, the only thing I know about this is there's a sequel to this. It starts with us, um, which is in Atlas, Atlas's point of view, who is... I don't know who Atlas is, but I do know this is about an abusive relationship between Lily and Ryle. And then Atlas comes in and then it starts with us as his point of view, but I don't have it starts with us because I haven't even read it ends with us. But I'm actually really excited. That this is probably the most excited, the most anticipatory Hoover book I want to read because I've heard this book is everywhere. You, if you know Colleen Hoover, you know this book. So yeah, can't wait to get into this next book is also another Colleen Hoover book. Surprise, surprise. And this book also you've definitely, definitely, definitely heard about. It is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Now, in November 9, the characters from Ugly Love actually made an appearance. I knew this through TikTok. So when I read, um, uh, at, when I first read November 9, I had no idea. But when I was like reading, uh, watching TikToks of November 9, I realized that Miles and Tate from November 9, actually Miles and Tate are ugly love, so that's how I know them, but that's all I about know about Miles and Tate. So I know they get a happy ending because in November 9, spoiler alert, Tate is pregnant. But this is called Ugly Love, and I know Colin Hoover has a tendency of making us suffer before the characters get a happy ending, so can't wait to get into this. I'm actually really excited. The next two books are my last two Colin Hoover books, and they are part of a series. And these are also part of the old covers. I bought them way before these new covers. I'm pretty sure there's new covers for this. I am pretty sure there is. But it is Hopeless and Losing Hope. Um, I know nothing about these. I don't even know who the main characters of this book are. It is Sky and Dean, I'm guessing. The back says it's Sky and Dean who are the main characters of this series. I know nothing. It's just Colin Hoover. So I did buy it. Um, also, but I have heard people like hopeless and losing hope so i'm actually really excited to read these too i'm pretty sure there's more there's like losing cinderella and losing hope nope losing hope is this one 
There's another one, Finding Cinderella. There's something else in this. I'm pretty sure in this series that I don't have. I'll eventually get when I'll eventually get to reading these series. I have no idea when that's gonna be, but I am a slow reader. I'm, I read really slowly, but I'll let you know when I've read them. All right, the next book I bought is Hook, Line, and Sinker, Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. This is my first, and I think only Tessa Bailey book that I have. Yeah, this is the only Tessa Bailey book I ever bought. I've never read Tessa Bailey before. Um, I've heard so much about this book and it happened one summer. Um, I'm pretty sure they're part of like the same universe. Or are they about the same? I don't know. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's about the same universe. I'm not sure if it's about the same couple. I don't know anything, like I said. But, um, yeah, so I hope I think I've heard a lot about it. So I can't wait to get into it. Because I've never read a Tessa Bailey book. And I would really much, really like to read her work. The next book I bought is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Once again, this is the author I've never read before. And I'm pretty sure this is the only book I have from this author because I've never read it. I want to get by a bunch of her books. I'm not going to enjoy. This is why I have not bought anything else from them. But I have heard people rave about this. Apparently, it's amazing. It's really funny. It's enemies to lovers. I'm pretty sure. And I'm, the only thing I know about is like two people who hate each other. I have to go on a honeymoon together because something goes wrong in a wedding. Yeah, that's all I know. I could not tell you anything else about this book. But it's funny. I've heard and apparently it's really good banter and I live for banter and I love me some enemies to lovers. We know this. We've been new. Um yeah, so the Adam Mirrors by Christina Lawrence. Alright, next up we have B Tree by Emily Henry. Now, earlier not earlier, a few months ago I read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, or You and Me on Vacation, uh if you're from Australia, which I am. I did not enjoy it. I gave it, I'm pretty sure I gave it three or three or two stars. I, it was really boring for me, but I know Emily Henry, people really like her. And I did not want to ex like make a judgment on her based on the one book I read, which has mixed reviews. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people like it, but so I'm like, why not read another one of her books? And um, yes, yeah, so, which is why I bought Be Tree by Emily Henry to give her another chance. Maybe You and Me Vacation just wasn't for me. Maybe this will be for me. And I'm really, really hoping it will be because people love Emily Henry and I don't want to be like the one person who like does not love her because that'll be really awkward. The next four books are part of a series, uh, the Priest series by Sierra Simone. I don't know if I said that right, Sierra, Sierra Simone, Simone. This is the Priest series by Sierra Simone. So we've Got, I did get the new covers by the way. I was not getting I did not like the old covers. I was so happy when they came up with new covers. Anyways, we've got Priest. I love these covers, they're so pretty. Uh we've got Midnight Mass. We've got Sinner. Now this book I've heard people rave about. I have very, very, very high expectations for this. You better live up. Please live up to my expectations because I'm so excited to read. I'm currently reading Archer's Voice, which... Oh you guys, Bria and Archer have my, have, have my heart. And yeah. Um. Anyways, I'm currently reading Archer's Voice. And after I finish Archer's Voice, I'm going to be moving on to this series. So I can't wait. I'm just really excited. Uh, anyway, the last uh, book in the pre-series is Saint. So yeah, so these are the four books in the pre-series by Sierra Simone, and I've never read anything by this author. I've heard a lot about her, but I'm actually really excited to read her work, especially this series, especially Sinna, because I've heard so much about this book from a lot of people. So I'll live up to my expectations. The second last book I bought is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. This book, so I've been hearing so much about this book. I don't know if you've heard about it, but I have. I've, there's been this scene that's, I, I, I don't usually spoil myself, but sometimes I'm just scrolling and you can't help it. 
and there's been saying about someone wearing someone's purity ring over their neck and i heard that i'm like i need this book i need to freaking read it so i bought it <laughs> it was quite expensive though it was like 23 dollars as you can see but i do have it now i have it very excited to read it i don't think it's gonna be this year because i'm really behind on my tbl the last book i bought is the american roommate by elena armas armas can't say names we really know that this is the sequel slash uh, like this is the same spanish love deception um i haven't read the spanish love deception but i saw this and i was like i know i'm gonna read the spanish love deception i've heard so much about aaron blackford i'm like there's gonna be a point in my life i'm definitely gonna read it i'm like why not just have this for later so i can read this right after because i know it's the same it's like a sequel but of a different couple um so yeah i'm actually really excited to get into this i actually am more excited to read the spanish of deception because i've heard so much but also good things about this book so yeah can't wait to get into this world as well and this was my haul hope you guys enjoyed um it was it wasn't a lot of books but there's a lot of books like can i show you guys come on okay i'll show you like this is all the books like i haven't talked about um because i'm like first of all the only reason this book is uh, this video is happening i don't have a video for th this week so i was like let's just do a haul because i'm reading archer's voice this was supposed to be archer's voice review but i'm reading it really slowly because i don't want it to finish and um also i'm a slow reader and i'm kind of like trying to s like i don't want to finish archer and brie like this soon like i want to like live as long as I can with them, you know what I mean? And so this is like a filler with a horse. I'm like, I know I'm gonna need a lot of filler videos because I'm really slow. So that I'm gonna leave in the other pile for when the next time I need um to fill a hole because I don't have a video for this week. Anyways, you did not need to know that, but you did. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books that I've listed or talked about, talked to you about, um, and tell me, Tell me what you read it. Tell me what you think. Tell me to what is it worth reading? Did I waste my money? Or like, what's the stitch? Like, what do you think about it? Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to talk about books with me, my socials are down below. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.